educator here at the Sustainability Trust. Our job is composed of waste audits for businesses, organizations, and other groups, and also a raft of workshops that we deliver to school, children, early childhood education, all the way through to adults. When we go into schools, we give a short presentation to the students and talk to them about why we are there, what, what is the purpose of trying to reduce our waste, and what are some of the issues around landfills that we need to address, and try and motivate them to become passionate about waste. The Warm Fuzzies team is a housing intervention team. We go into people's homes, we have a look at what some of the issues in the house are. So whether it be energy efficiency, whether it be mold and ventilation, or just pure fuel poverty is another thing that we see a lot. People cannot afford to pay for heating. That program requires technical knowledge around housing, but more than that, it requires the ability to empathize and have strong relationships within the social support networks of Wellington as well because we can go in there and help people and connect them with different agencies that might be able to support them. I think more and more people are coming through doing you know their bachelor's degree of environmental studies and then their master's degree of environmental studies and you know engineering and technology that are interested in this field. So I think that in the future, the, the amount of training that's required will, will increase. Probably the energy industry. I think that's probably the, the biggest niche opening up at the moment. And that's mainly because of you know, the majority of energy comes from non-renewable resources. And those non-renewable resources produce something that we now all recognize as causing a great deal of harm to the planet. Um, so that's obviously something that needs to be addressed sooner rather than later. And I think more and more people are realizing that trying to use our resources more efficiently, more smartly, and then also using the waste products as much as possible is something that we're going to have to do in the long term.